Hello, hi, uh, this is Elvin from uh, Extreme Networks. So today I would like to introduce to you the uh, Extreme Management Center, which stands for XMC. So uh, basically the XMC is the end-to-end uh, -end monitoring management uh, platform that uh, Extreme offers to manage all the devices ranging from the switches, the uh, APs, and also to all the other uh, endpoints that is available on the Extreme portfolio. So uh, for a start, basically here is the dashboard and the dashboard will consist of different uh, circles which actually tells you the health. So the system availability, performance and uh, all this uh, health that is relevant to an uh, IT uh, manager. Okay, so uh, over here on the left is all the feature sets that is available that you include the uh, control, which is the NAC, analytics, which is the DPI, wireless, compliance, and also reporting. Yeah. So these are all the tech that's available uh, for the uh, end user to at least select and uh, uh, browse around and uh, manage the platform. So uh, moving forward, I want to show to you the uh, how the XMC will actually manage the platform. So there is a list of devices that we have on the uh, uh, discovered on our XMC based on the SNMP um, and also uh, for devices to interface uh, to each other and to create a link there's an LLDP and also the CDP that is enabled on the interface that allows you to uh, uh, interconnect so for example over here we can actually manage Aruba uh, switches uh, so if you go and click on the Aruba it's here uh, you can actually um, see that it actually going to the device itself it shows you the IP address, the uptime, that's uh, software version, uh, the availability, uh, the ports, and also uh, the logical interface as well. So it gives you all the details of the uh, Aruba switch itself. <coughs> so not only that, uh, basically you can um, view the uh, Cisco switches as well. So over here, uh, there is a Cisco switch that we can actually discover. So um, similarly, uh, for Cisco switch, we can actually pull out all the information, uh, ranging from the IP address, the address, serial number, software version, uh, uptime, and also availability. And on the right-hand side, it's available on the slots. You can actually see the slots, the uh, logic interface, virtual VLAN, and also the other information that's available on the switch itself okay so if the switch has some locks onto it you know uh, there's a up or down locks you can actually see here so over here there's a very basic locks okay you can actually see the severity and also the script uh some uh, uh console uh, access that actually uh from certain time somebody has access it to change some config onto it yeah so for the archive, you can actually see there's an inventory. Uh, we actually do a consistent backup on the uh, Cisco switch as well. So at a certain time itself, you can actually uh, schedule it to go in and pull the um, uh, configuration file. Yeah, You can actually push your configuration file as well. So over here, it shows you all the backup details. Yeah? So this is very good for the IT operator to actually uh, uh, discover the uh, the uh, latest backup version yeah so in case the switch crash you can actually push it down so over here itself in more detail you can actually view the switch in uh, interface the session uh, you can actually upgrade the firmware here okay so you can upgrade the firmware you reload the firmware into XMC and XMC will push it out to the switch at a certain time and from there on you can actually uh, upgrade the firmware okay you can actually uh, run some pings if you want to consistently uh, uh, see the availability of the device. Um, you can actually inject some policies as well. Yeah, so you can actually create some policies and inject it. So manually, uh, you can actually uh, do that. Um, over here, there's a last two configuration. So this is one of the key features that you know uh, a lot of uh, uh, customer will be interested in. We have this function called the comparison. So we can actually compare the um, the latest and the previous configuration of the switch. So nightly backup the party uh, 3 a.m. on the 17th, uh, nightly backup on the 18th at 3 a.m. as well. So what has changed? Uh, basically, if nobody touches the switch, the only thing that has changed is the uh, 
uh, NTP clock. Okay, the clock always change because it's always clicking. So that's why it shows you over here that is a red color a sign that uh, compared to the new one, there is a difference in it. Yeah. So we do have comparison as well uh, in terms of the changes that have been done. So you can see here, there's two screens that can just show you the comparison. So these are one of the key features that is uh, quite amazing uh, for customer. So for example, let's say, okay, I want to uh, use the latest config. Uh, the old config got crashed. So you can actually go to options and you can actually um, schedule the inventory uh, archive to be pushed down to the uh, to the actual switch itself. Yeah. So these are one of the key features, uh, you know, uh, on XMC that we can actually manage the party um, hardware. Okay. So also I would like to show you is basically we do have a very good topology view of our network. Okay. Over here itself, you can actually go to the topology view. Um, basically, you can actually uh, differentiate it in different location. Okay, over here I got uh, over here is uh, the campus, and I got the data center. So on the campus view itself, I can actually click this campus, and this will actually show you, for example, like uh, uh, a big location itself. Yeah. So uh, this actually shows our our data center interconnection with multiple buildings in in uh, San Jose, and uh, these are all the switches that have been connected. So all this line is automatically populated. So when there's a CDP uh, enabled the interface, it will actually clear the line for you. Yeah, it will show you the interface from where to where. If green is up, red is down. Okay. So if you see a red line that is down, you can actually uh, uh, go into the interface and um, you can actually uh, view uh, the interface the utilization percentage and actually do a link detail. Okay. So the link detail is quite uh, a useful tool. It shows you from which switch to which switch. So the endpoint one is here, endpoint two is here. It shows you which switch is connected to which switch. It shows you the software version of the switch. And uh, it shows you uh, status is down. It is a 40 gig interface. Yeah. So this, this is quite a useful tool Yeah. to, to actually discover uh, your whole network itself. So especially the NOC guys, they would love this tool. Because you can actually, uh, for example, another good feature that we have is here. For example, I want to search for VLAN 20. I just go to hit this tab here and do a VLAN 20. You can actually search a VLAN 20 and it tells you where the VLAN 20 located. So it's a very amazing tool that you can uh, actually simplify your work as an NOC manager. Yeah. So all this, uh, nevertheless, you can actually re uh, export it to a FACSI report. You know, uh, reporting can be uh, extracted. So I don't want to do this. So it's a large uh, file. So you can actually export all this information out um, into a PDF. Yeah. So um, next part I want to show you is basically uh, the control. We also have an NAC. So uh, NAC is a very good uh, tool uh, to have. I think most organizations will have. Uh, basically, NAC is never access control. It's where you know uh, this part of the uh, XMC will push the configuration policies down to devices to APs and even to switches itself, okay? So not only limiting to extreme, we can actually interface with uh, many other switches, Cisco, Dell, HP, whatever that you can manage just now on the list itself, basically we can do it. Um, there, are, there are some configuration that's needed if you are working with third-party devices, uh, it's not an open box. So you need to make sure that you have the uh, right commands in place. So for example, uh, Cisco is running a show run. Um, ours is called show config. So you need to uh, key in a script on a show run and execute a script instead of a show config on the default uh, on XMC. So the policies itself, there's a lot of policies. It's uh, very flexible. You can create a printer policy, server policy. These are all the default, okay? Anything out from here, you can actually go and add uh, the tools and uh, you can actually add a new policy to it. Yeah, So it's very flexible. It has all the functions that you would need to actually manage your system. Okay, You can actually uh, manage, uh, you know, I want to differentiate uh, Android. Yeah, You can actually create scripts to manage the Android devices. Yeah, So um, back to the dashboard itself, uh, basically we can actually differentiate, you know, uh, how many uh, devices is connected to a network, what are the families? It can be a Windows, it can be a Chrome, it's an Apple OS, you know, uh, 
uh, these are the policies that have been pushed out or created. Yeah, so uh, over here are all the logs, recent registration. So you can actually uh, go into um, filters, you can actually filter all these logs as well. Yeah, so a uh, very powerful tool. Uh, the third part is analytics. So analytics gives you an overview of the um, network itself. Okay, so these are the uh, network utilization. So I want to see how much utilization I have on my network. Uh, you know, uh, what, what are the uh, traffic that's coming in? Uh, these are all based on the um, insight or the uh, utilization from the uh, uh, analytics. Yeah. So analytics actually gives you a very uh, detailed, uh, even response time. So one customers will always want to see, oh, what is my response time on my application itself? Yeah. Always they will ask, you know, uh, is it my DSS issue? Or is it there's an issue on the Yahoo or even Google Maps? Uh, you, you can actually see the response time from here. Okay, so these are all color coded. So as you can see, this is a live mode. Uh, I think it posts every uh, five or ten seconds. So uh, it, it will actually move on uh, as it goes along. Yeah. So response time very important for administrator to manage the application and to actually see the uh, the uh, application response time. Yeah. So if you have a, a server that is uh, slow, you can actually come to this step and it shows you a very good response time of it. Um, other than that, you can actually schedule tasks, massive uh, information you can use here. Uh, schedule tasks is one of the uh, things that you can actually schedule on the XMC, okay? It can be a very simple uh, task to schedule. So you just go to add here, so you can actually schedule a task, okay? So if you want to schedule a task, for example, uh, collect all the information or uh, port utilization or switch utilization and send it to me at every 7 a.m. in the morning. This task tool will do it. Okay, so uh, very impressive. Uh, you can actually do scripting. Okay, so this was what I explained earlier. Yeah, you can actually do scripting here. Okay, scripting is mostly for third party. Okay, uh, not only switches, it can actually uh, push configs to firewall as well. So, for example, I want to do a backup on my firewall config. And you know, firewall, you need to have a firewall manager. Yeah, for example, Palo Alto, you need to have your Palo Alto uh, firewall manager. But instead of that, you can actually use the scripting function. So this script function is what you put in and what it, it will create for you, okay? So these are all the basic scripts that is uh, created for you. Okay, so uh, basically, the, I just choose one of these, is a uh, switch config, okay? So over here, this is uh, the basic switch config for extreme. So um, how do I do a switch config uh, push down to the device? You enable, so you have to have a command line in place. Okay, enable CDB ports all, configure LDP ports all, advertise all, enable and save config and yes. Okay, so this is the exact command that a uh, uh, IT operator will actually do on the actual switch. But now you can do it in the script way. I can push it. I can save it and I can run it on the spot, okay? So I can run it on the spot. So all this information will be pushed down to the device immediately, okay? If not, you can schedule it at the 12 midnight, up to you. You can do it anytime that you want, yeah? So uh, you can actually, uh, you know, test it out first on your lab. And once you're confident that you want to push it, this new config to your all your devices, you just schedule it and run it. So amazing tool, very amazing. Um, Last but not least is the reporting. I think uh, I, every IT manager wants to see. So these are very detailed reports, okay? Uh, uh, Extreme has a very uh, powerful reporting tool based on, you know, telemetry. You want to see a response time, application interface. Everything you see here can be exported out, okay? Uh, basically, uh, I can export it out to you on your, on your, on your email, yeah? So, uh, over here itself, uh, network summary status, you can actually see all the switches in, in, uh, in their mode itself, okay? Okay, last but not least um, is wireless part of it. So wireless is also integrated into the XMC. That's why it's so impressive because XMC has a single platform that manages wired and wireless. I want to search my switch port. I just go to my switch and click and it actually goes zoom into the wireless part for you, okay? So it shows you the wireless network, uh, you know, uh, basically it shows you the controller, yeah, which controller is running, 
yeah, uh, basically which access point is up. Okay, so over here is our lab access point. So the green are the up, the red are the down. You can actually click into it and you can actually zoom in more of it. Yeah. So it can actually show you the, uh, the picture of it, the uptime, IP address, utilization, and number of clients is connected. Yeah. So very impressive tool here. You can actually see all the details in one single screenshot. Okay. Uh, next, you can actually see the client. Yeah, the client itself, uh, you can actually see the utilization of the client. Okay. So for example, I want to search um, uh, this uh, person called Larry. Okay. So Larry is one of the, our staff. So I can actually click on Larry itself and it shows you the utilization of Larry over six hours. Okay, I want to go 24 hours. What has Larry been doing? So this uh, may not be all the time active because uh, Larry is one of our staff there. So maybe on the weekend he's not working. So we can actually see all his information okay, for Larry. When did he get authenticated? He's using an iPad, Mac address, IP address. Did his authentication go through? All the details can be seen. Okay, So it's very impressive that you can actually see all these uh, um, things onto a single platform. Okay. Over here, um, you can actually see the uh, thread. So there's no thread, event thread, there's nothing. So uh, this guy is clean, yeah. So um, basically, um, over here itself, you can zoom into Larry. And um, on Larry itself, you can actually see the, uh, the details of Larry, yeah. Okay. So um, client events, yeah. So it's a very uh, creative tool. Uh, basically, you can uh, uh, see all the uh, incoming threads. You know, if you have a DDoS attack, um, then you can actually see it from here. Um, other than that, you can actually uh, do a very detailed uh, report generation. And uh, basically, you can actually see all the uh, uh, available APs, available users that's connected, uh, number of clients. All these are being captured onto that onto a single database itself, yeah. So a uh, very impressive part of uh, the uh, tool as well, yeah. So I think the, the, the important part of it, uh, there's one more part I want to show you. For example, I want to search Larry, okay. 